Hey guys, welcome back to another video of the channel. The Castle they picked up their first win of the season. Yes, I thought we did quite well in court today. I was quite happy with what I saw, but I just claim my straight away though. It's half 12, so the court case will be on for about two hours. It is still on, but uh, I got bored of it, to be honest. I can't be honest with you anymore, so I thought I'd come up with a video on it now. There's still quite a lot of talk, but there's a lot of talking points, and I'll be honest, in terms of the rest of the court case, I think it's been quite predictable, but if something drastic happens on the game, I will make an all video on it, but. In terms of the court case, I think it's pretty much going to be done now, to be honest. But anyway, guys, if you're on YouTube channel, of course, make sure you get that subscribe. Smash the like button, you enjoy, appreciate the support as always. Going to be heading down to the Murray Rock Stadium on Saturday. Listen, I said that in the stream yesterday, everyone ripped the absolute piss out of us. But hey, ho, here we go again. But looking forward to doing that. But anyway, anyway guys, appreciate the support as always. We're going to try and get 10k for, uh, before the end of the year, hopefully. But yeah, it's supposed to be mental, so cheers for that. But enough about me, though, to actually talk about the court case now. But... A quick, obviously, note, uh, you can't record or screenshot anything from the court case, by the way, so don't try it, because uh, you will be in contempt of court, but I don't know if fact some of the Castle fan will do that, so we'll watch it. But, uh, yeah, it's two talking points I felt like uh, during the court case that are really important to talk about. The first one, of course, is the arbitration case in January. That one's going to happen in January, that is good news for the Castle. No more of this bullshit, let's put it back in our six months, no more of this stalling, um... I think for the cast and I, uh, that is big because we need it done now or it's just not going to be done. Uh, but just to remember though, we did lose the arbitration case last time so we've got to pull our finger out if we are going to win it this time. But uh, the good thing is that we can plan for it. Uh, it's not going to be changed the date so we can prepare for it. And uh, yeah, we better pull our finger out and actually get it because if we lose it, then that's it. It's done. No more of this. No more me wearing the Saudi top. It's finished. It's done. But uh yeah, the other big talking point that I'm going to rant about is the Premier League. Uh, now, during the court case, they wanted certain parts of it in private, so the arbitration details they wanted in private. And uh, eventually, after some discussions, the jury agreed to it. But that pissed me off. Uh, to be honest, that really did piss me off because um, as a Newcastle fan, we all Newcastle fans, of course, uh, I'm someone that spends thousands of pounds every single season on this football club. And I, I believe I have the right to do all this sort of stuff. Um, and in terms of our fans, I mean... The court case was public in the first place. It's on a live stream. I mean, it's not like the Castle fans are sitting in the room. Like, I mean, why have you got to go behind the scenes to talk about it and then come back on? I mean, yeah, that was sleazy. I felt like uh, I don't really understand the point of it. It's the only gain I see the Premier League getting is the case of fucked up. Obviously, it's behind the scenes. But, uh, yeah, I didn't like that at all. I really didn't like it because, I mean, every Newcastle fan, we put our heart, our souls into this football club. And we deserve we deserve clarification. This is why the court case happened in the first place. Uh, we want answers. We want the actual details have come out, and I mean, yeah, that pissed me off, I didn't like it at all, I mean, yeah, it just kind of shows how the Premier League, like, work, it's kind of go behind the scenes, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the Premier League have got a right to do that, because of just how the laws work, I mean, for example, literally every single Premier League team has a signed agreement for this sort of stuff to be prior, including Newcastle United, so, I mean, nice one, lads, but, uh, yeah, that one pissed me off quite a bit, uh, I mean, in terms of details itself, I mean, there hasn't been any sort of leaks coming out. I haven't seen anything uh, about the sort. But in terms of last year itself, though, it just it kept taking breaks every five minutes. I mean, what is this, the fucking NFL or something? But uh, yeah, in terms of itself, during the first two hours of watch, I've been quite happy how Newcastle works. I think Newcastle haven't really slipped up on it. I think Newcastle have been quite clear on what they want, clear on how they're doing stuff. And of course, the arbitration case in January is huge to the club. So yeah, I've been quite impressed, but... Hope you haven't jinxed anything. <laughs> anything happens afterwards, I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, it's not really much more to say, really. I think Newcastle are doing pretty well for themselves. I think Newcastle have made a mark, you could say. And I think the poor case has actually been productive. I don't think it's been a waste of time. But, anyway, guys, that's about it, really. Not really much more to say. But, uh, obviously, if you want any questions answered, put them down below. I'll try and answer as best as I can. But, like I said before, I don't think anything else massive happens, I put it on. But, I think from this point on, it would just be kind of dead. It would just, nothing would change. I think they'd ramble on for a few more hours and that would be about it. But, hope you guys enjoy watching though. Uh, next time upload will be Saturday probably. So, take care. Thank you for watching. Yes, I'll see you on the next one.